10 years ago, we launched Android Studio at Google I.O. The audience went wild. We knew that developers were going to be excited about this. And we launched a alpha version a couple of days later, and we were really surprised by how many developers uh, downloaded it and started using it full time. And to this day, we still have a lot of people using our canary boats, and we're happy about that. My favorite moment in Android Studio's last 10 years was the choice to use a single build system for both the in-IDE builds and the command line builds. Whether you're working in the IDE or whether you're building in your continuous integration server, then you should have exactly the same result. It's based on Gradle and uh, it's very customizable and very extensible and it is deeply integrated into the IDE. 10 years ago, IDEs such as IntelliJ or Eclipse would build apps using their own builders. Command line builds as used in CI environments were often built with a completely different system that was based on app. Having multiple systems to build the app could not scale. Apps were getting increasingly large and complex. Many mobile apps required a lot of customization in order to build variants of their core app. So one of the biggest bets when we built Android Studio was to unify on a single build system, Gradle in this case, and have the IDE import the project from the Gradle build specification. The build system became the source of truth. Today, we're making Kotlin an officially supported language in Android. So. Making Kotlin as the default language in the IDE is another profound change. When I first heard about Kotlin, I was a little bit of a skeptic. But it only took a few weeks of writing in Kotlin for me to become a convert. It is a pleasure to write code in. You can express ideas in a concise manner using Kotlin that is just not possible with Java. Coroutines and structured concurrency make expressing concurrent behavior easy. This significantly changed the API surface offered by many of our Android X libraries, and projects like Jetpack Compose would be impossible without Kotlin. StudioBot is a highly integrated AI-powered helper. In Android My favorite moment in Android Studio's last 10 years was launching StudioBot, now known as Gemini and Android Studio. Internally, we talked about adding AI to Android Studio for some time with the goal of enhancing the app development experience. Fortunately, a few things fell into place that made this possible. First, the development of the Gemini model, which was transformational by being both scalable and affordable model to work with. Two, we partnered with a great internal R&D labs team to help us think about how do we take the Gemini model and augment it to be focused on Android app development. And third, we built an in-house dev team that could do a focused sprint to create the infrastructure and the initial set of AI features. With those pieces in place, we were able to launch StudioBot, which had Gemini-powered chat, code completion, and log analysis. And that's what kicked off our journey in bringing AI assistance to Android app developers to make them more productive when developing apps for Android. Thank you.